Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. So, hi everyone. Welcome to Crack You. So, I just came out of the examination center and the slot one was very easy. In terms of difficulty level, quant was easier than last year and uh, there was a pattern change in LRDA section. There were five sets and uh, very surprisingly, there were three DI sets, three chart based sets were there. And there were two sets which were of five questions each, and there were three sets which were of four questions each. And uh, in VRC, uh, there were no para jumbles at all. So in VRC, there were four RCs. So first RC was based on economics, and the second RC was based on some Netflix shows, and the third was based on arts and crafts. And uh, there were three para summaries and three para answers and questions, and there were two out of context questions were present and there were no para jumble questions in the examination and coming to LRD there were three DI sets and one DI set was based on stocks and DI set was based on the number of countries visited okay and uh, difficulty wise it was easier than last year and in quant section you will find questions which were very very easy arithmetic and algebra and even geometry was very easy. If you know the basic concepts, you will be definitely able to solve all the questions. So I think this year, uh, CAT gave a surprise by uh, lowering the difficulty level of the examination. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are in the second slot, so I will suggest you to please calm your nerves and try to attempt the easier question first, scroll down from first question to the last question in each section so that you can attempt easy questions. There are plenty of easy questions. You need to find the easy questions and don't stuck at one question. If you are stuck at one question, leave the question and move on to the next question. This will improve your uh, maximum attempt and also will be very helpful to score you well. So, and uh, coming to quant section, I will suggest that uh, you can uh, see the questions which are of easier side, which are on easier side, right? So you have to put efforts on the easier side question as compared to the difficult side questions. So this was all about the uh, slot one. And as soon as the slot two will be over, we will come back again and we will discuss about the difficulty level of slot two. Hello. Tell once again. Please, sir. You can stand there. Let's go. Oh, again, from the start. Zebra wages. People are asking. Okay. So, in LRD. Start from again. Okay. Start from start. Huh? Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to Crack you. So I just came out of the examination center from slot one and uh, slot one was very easy as compared to previous years. Uh, quant was very easier. And uh, first of all, I will say in VRC, there was a change in the pattern of questions. There was no para jumble questions in the exam. Uh, there were three para summary questions, three para insertion question and two uh, out of the context question, right? And in LRDI, there were five sets. Okay. So two sets of five questions each and three sets of four questions each. And out of five sets, there were three DI sets, which was very, which was very surprising to me. And uh, in a uh, quant section, there were 22, uh, 22 questions. And out of 22 questions, most of the questions were doable. Questions were divided from mathematical algebra, number system, probability. All the questions were present there. And they were on easier side as compared to previous year. So I will say that this year, CAT has given a surprise by uh, lowering the uh, difficulty level of the examination. And we will have to see for the next session to see the overall difficulty of the uh, CAT examination. And I will take some of the questions which you are asking right now. So uh, in DI sets, 
four question DA sets were there, right? Yeah, there were three sets, uh, which were of DA sets. And in each question, RC, there were uh, four RC. One was on economics, second was on uh, some shows, and third was on arts and crafts. RC were easy to read and questions were doable. In VRC, if you can attempt 20, 20 questions, that is perfect. And in LRDI, three sets you can do easily manage three can be doable. And in quant, if you are able to attempt 16 questions, that is perfectly fine because it was on easier side as compared to previous year. Very easy, very easy. If you can just read the data and you have to solve uh, some, you have to do some calculation and then you can solve. Uh, yes, there was one question on games and tournament. Uh, in quant, all the sections were uh, easily distributed, evenly distributed, algebra, arithmetic, and number system, all the type of questions were present, but they were on easier side. Profit loss, ratios and proportions, and geometry questions, and uh, uh, mensurations, four RCs were there. There was no arrangement set. There was one uh, DA and table based mix. There are two sets in DI which have five questions, and there are three sets in DI which have four questions. Kita questions were there in uh, DI LR as well. So there were around seven to eight DI uh, Kita questions. So first DILR set uh, was on stocks. There was uh, some chart given and the stock prices of uh, five to six stocks were given. And we have to find uh, the profit and loss of uh, the stocks. Geometric questions, there were three geometric questions, two to three geometric questions. There are three major changes. First in VRC, the, there were no parajumble questions in VRC. Second, in LRD, there were five, there were five sets and uh, there are total 22 questions in DILR, out of which uh, there are three sets of five, uh, four questions and two sets of five questions. Number system, two questions were there. Uh, one DI set was based on the people uh, visiting the uh, number of countries and we have number of uh, visiting particular countries. So LRD set were also doable and easy to moderate side. They were not difficult. One set was difficult, which was uh, LR based and there was some quant involved. VA questions, uh, three para summary, three para insertion, two out of context. Instead of two para jumble questions, there were one question in para summary and one question in uh, uh, para insertion. Yes, there was time when one questions was there. Time and speed, time speed and distance question was also there. Yes, this year definitely the cutoff will rise for 99 percentile and all all across all the sections the cutoff will definitely rise. VA was also easy to moderate side. Quant was on easier side as compared to previous year, as compared to 2023 CAT, this year Quant was very easy. The weightage of arithmetic was, I think around six to seven questions were from arithmetic and seven to eight questions were from algebra and geometry questions, there were two geometry questions. There was no mean, mode, uh, mean median mode type of LRDA sets. Uh, chart, DI charts were uh, direct questions only. You have to do some calculation. You have to uh, find the maximum value, minimum value, and then you have to subtract the values and get the ratios. And you have to find how many values are greater than 50%, how many values are greater than 60%, these type of questions were asked. Modern max questions were very less, I think one or two questions only.
there were two odd one out three para summary questions and three para insertion questions vrc was also on easier side because uh, para insertion questions are, are on easier side as compared to para jumble so i think uh, having three questions on para insertion was definitely on a plus point on the student side so i think uh, the score of v, uh, vrc section cut off will be definitely more than the previous years LRDI sets were doable sets. You have to find uh, three sets which can be easy to moderate side. So I think three sets were doable. And one set was uh, one set I found on difficult side. There are five sets in DILR. Yes, in this type of uh, paper, you need to manage time very effectively. If you are able to solve questions in time, then you will be able to maximize your attempt and your score will definitely improve. I think in VARC, you could easily attempt 16 to 20, 20 questions, definitely. 16 to 20 questions is a good attempt in VARC section. In LRDA, I think three sets can be done. Two to three sets should be done in this type of paper. For detail analysis and for and for the cutoffs and everything, we have to look for the other slots as well. So we will compare all the slots, slot one, slot two, slot three. Then we will uh, be able to get the cutoff for each. Arithmetic was on easier side. See, there were three DI sets. Two were easy. Two were easy DI sets. One set involved a, a, a bit of calculation. I think if you are able to attend uh, 15, uh, 14 to 15 questions in quant, definitely you will be getting good score. Accuracy should be 80 to 90%. Uh, there was no time killer questions. Uh, questions were direct questions only. And a lot of questions, if you know the basic concepts, if you know the formula, you will be able to do it. Only one question, one or two questions were tricky. In quant, there were 22, uh, 22 questions. There was no roots and network LRDA. Okay, thank you so much.